All right, so the sixth and final film that we are going to talk about, and then we'll be finished with a finished film. <laughs> I made the finish joke way too many times while watching this movie. Oh. Hatching. 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 Not Hatchet. Not Hatchet 2. Not Hatchet 3. Not Victor Crawley. Hatching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Um, so, what's this one about? This one is about a Finnish family. Uh, Are you finished? Nope. No. With a young daughter who is a gymnast and an overbearing mother who runs a vlog channel. And she is obsessed with having the perfect life and putting out this image of perfection to the world. And she, Like me? Uh, you are perfect. And she imposes a lot of this on her daughter um, while ignoring her husband and son. And the daughter um, makes an unlikely friend yeah. in this, well, a, a creature. So she, the mother <laughs> kills a bird yeah. in the opening of the movie. This is very traumatic for the daughter. And so she goes out into the backyard, finds an egg from this bird, and, uh, n uh, you know, nurtures it. And uh, what do they call that? Uh, incubates it. Incubates it. And uh, this egg grows bigger and bigger and bigger until it starts... Hatching! Hatching! Yeah. And the creature that comes out of it is uh Conchu. yeah from. Conchu from moon knight <laughs> yes uh yeah it, it it changes throughout and um she has okay first thing this was my favorite movie of the six we watched yes mine too and um it is very much this like metaphorical allegory for childhood trauma yeah. And, um, you know, coming of age and dealing with uh, neglectful parents, abusive parents. Eating disorders. Um, you know, being the weird person at school and all this stuff. Yeah. So it, it, it's, a, it's a great metaphorical film that I think, while slow, uh, has enough going on in it. I think the performances are all good. I think that the the way the film is odd for sure, mm -hmm. but pretty straightforward. Um, and the creature effects are really cool. Super cool. Um, and you know, I just I really enjoyed it. I, I'm trying to like not spoil things, so yeah. I'm like. Yeah, it's it's got a really great style to it. The acting is fantastic from everybody. The mom is fucking super hate hate hateable. Hateable, sure. Hateable. Yeah. Um, and then like you said, the creature effects I think are like really what elevated it for me. Yeah. Um, I absolutely love the way everything looks throughout the film, and um, yeah, I mean it's it's as you said, very metaphorical. Uh, definitely dealing with all those things that you listed, and I, I think that it does it in a way that's not um, super heavy-handed, which I appreciate. But it, it's very like fairy tale feeling, yeah. Very fantasy at times, um, like dark fantasy, and uh, it's just a really, really cool film, really well made, and the ending was super solid. Yeah, I was very happy with the ending. Yeah. Um, and was just really invested throughout the film to see what would happen. And I feel super bad for the, the main character, the little girl. Yeah. Uh, just because you can really put yourself, if, if you've ever dealt with a parent or, you know, even a parental figure that pushes you too hard and is um, kind of projecting their hopes and dreams and missed opportunities onto mm -hmm. you and all that pressure, um, it, it can be very relatable and it's uh, really heartbreaking to see. So, yeah. Um, yeah, and, and another thing with this film, and this is kind of a rarity in horror, but I, when it's done well, like it is here, it's very effective. There's this kind of illusion of um, safety and comfort and whatever because the film is so 
bright mm. and you know everything in the film uh is is in this in this um more lavish household with these beautiful like people who are trying to present themselves but we all know that that like underneath that coat of paint yeah it's, a it's rotting yes right and and i think you know a lot of horror films rely on like dark dank um dreary mm -hmm. pl uh scenery and atmosphere and and places you know they're going into the basement or they're mm -hmm. going into the abandoned factory or whatever sure. and it's like not all horror takes place in scary looking places yeah. like a lot of the horror in the world takes place in places you would never assume you think like oh wow this place is is so well kept and everyone here seems to be so happy and it's like if only you knew the truth yeah so that's, yeah to see a, a house and and a film that's so bright i mean there's like almost no night scenes in this a lot of it's during the day and bright light mm -hmm. and in in very like white walls and brightly lit rooms very and clean very too. clean yeah, everything, but everything that's yeah yeah it's it's like you i mean it's part of the horror is this like image of perfection yeah and I, I mean, I love like the dark and gloomy vibe that a lot of horror movies go for, of course, but seeing something with this kind of a tone, um, almost like uh, Midsommar. Yeah, yeah. It's very unsettling and, um, just, just creepy, honestly, because it's like, you can imagine people like that, that present themselves as very clean cut. And then it's like inside of them is just rotten. As you said. While the film definitely has horrific moments mm -hmm. here and there, and there is one one thing that happens in particular that's really, really fucked up, and it's kind of like a gut punch. Um, I do want to say, though, that when it comes to the horror within the film, the, big, the bigger takeaway from the horror, much more so than, like, fear, is sadness. Yeah. Like, a lot of this film is just kind of drenched in sadness and i i felt really more upset in a, in a saddened way throughout the entirety of this film than i ever did in a like oh my god this is scary or creepy it was just like this is really sad yeah and i i feel so bad for the monster at times oh i feel gosh. bad for the for the main character I, you know i feel bad for for other characters as well so yeah. uh, this is more of like a sappy horror film mm. in a way, mm -hmm. but I don't find it to be overbearingly like um, dreary with its sadness either. I think it makes perfect sense to the story that it's telling. It's not beating you over the head. It's just that's how it is. Yeah. Um, I just don't want anyone going into this thinking they're going to get scared. No, I don't no, think it's... this is like trying to be scary. I think it's more trying to be poignant. Yes, I agree. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and that might not be your thing. So, it's kind of body horror at, um, times. at times, and it's a monster creature feature, but it but it really is um, very sad. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a it's sad a horror movie <laughs> for sure. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, it, I think it's very relatable to anybody who has dealt with bullying, bad parenting. Um, you know, any of that Body kind of stuff. Issues. A lot of people yeah. can relate to that out yeah. there, you know. And if you can't, that's awesome. <laughs> Good for Good you. Good for you. Good for you. That's yeah, actually sure. wonderful. And it I'm is. not being fucking facetious at all. <laughs> that's great. But I think I'm finished. <gasps> Duh. Finished. We're done. We're yeah. done. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know if you watch it. It's available for rent on. Uh, oh, by the way. We rented this on Amazon, yes. and uh, the there was no subtitles. We tried turning them on a thousand different ways. No matter what we did, we could not get subtitles. So we just winged it, and we thought maybe we understood. And we like and we just we watched the whole it. thing. And we're like, we're yeah, like, I think I know what they're. We no, speak Finnish. we did not do that. We asked for a refund on Amazon, and we rented it on Vudu, mm -hmm. and uh, they we're did perfectly. have subtitles. So just a heads up, they may have fixed it because I told the person on the phone to file a complaint and this was 
days ago. Yeah. So it's possible they updated the subtitles, but I wouldn't take the risk. Rent it on Vudu or somewhere else because Amazon, last we checked, had no subtitles. And unless you can speak a language where every fucking word has 17 letters. It's an insane language. Yes. Yeah. Oh it's so my crazy. God. They're just for like comedy's sake, make sure you sit through some of the the credits at the end. Because there's like titles for like what they did in the film and they're like legitimately this long. We were like, and it's one single it's thing. A word. It's a word. And you're like, it's that ridiculous. You're like, what? How do how do you teach a child that language? How do you be like, okay, so how do you spell this? And they're like, um, 17 letters later, they're like, uh-huh, keep going. And they're like, we're not done yet. They're like, 10 more to go. They're like, yeah, you got to keep going. That's his name. That's his name. Names this long. Oh, my God. And that's just his first. Then it's his middle name. <laughs> and then his... And his last name is like this. It's like one letter. <laughs> 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 right. just... We're finished. Bye. Bye. <laughs>